context and data flow diagram sample for red light camera. So with these diagrams, we're going to look at basically the processes that occur from when a car crosses the sensors on a road, okay, at an intersection where there is a red light camera. Obviously, after the red light has gone red and then a camera takes a photo of that car, right down to the driver of that car receiving a fine okay, for crossing the line. So the first part of this context diagram that we're going to look at is the information system itself, which is their single process, and we're going to call that the red light camera information system. Firstly, it gathers the data from a car, and this car obviously has crossed the line at an intersection. It takes a photo of that car and from that photo, it gets an image of the car and its number plate. It uses optical character recognition to read that number plate and then search it through a database to find out who was the driver of that car. At the time of the photo, the location of where the red light camera is stationed and the time of when all this took place is also recorded by the system. Now, the system obviously processes all this data in order to find out who the driver is. And ultimately, the other external entity in all of this is the driver. Okay, they find out who the driver is and they send them a copy of the photo. The amount of money they're going to have to pay as a part of their fine and whether they've lost demerit points as a part of their license for going through a red light. And they're also given a reference number. And this reference number is if the driver wants to rebut the actual fine and say, no, it wasn't right, it was an error. Okay, they need to refer to that um, reference number. So this is just an overview of how the system works. We'll now go into our data flow diagram and look at the inner workings of this system. So once again, it all starts with the car. The car goes through the intersection, it crosses that sensor light and the red light camera takes a photo and that's what gets this system's wheels in motion. From here, the image is used to search for the car and the car is searched based on its number plate against the motor vehicle database, which we do as a part of our rego. Our cars are registered to specific drivers. So from here, the car details and the registered driver to that car are used to obtain who the driver is. Okay, once we know who the driver is, we can then generate the fine. Okay, and the fine then gets recorded back in the database that the driver has received a fine and if demerit points are going to be taken off their license, that's all needs to be recorded in the database. We use all this information that we've gathered, okay, in order to find the driver's postal address and then we have to post the actual fine to the driver and then obviously at the end of all this, the driver gets posted the fine which has obviously an image of the car going over the red light the fine itself, how much they're going to pay and whether they're going to lose the merit points and their reference number. So I hope this gives you a bit of an overview of how the actual red light camera information system works okay, and the processes taking place, all being initiated with the red light camera being the collecting um, process, gathering the data about the car, then obviously the searching for the driver using the car data of the motor vehicle database, then the generation of the fine, which is then delivered to the driver.